Bauman reporting for Katie Chads at WebFest in Toronto. I am here with Corey Vidal. As the founder of Buffer Festival and a full-time YouTuber, tell me a little bit about the importance of celebrating web series. Well, uh, I mean, I've been making YouTube videos for a very long time. I started before Google even bought YouTube. And when I was growing up, I was really passionate about film. And if you go back 10 years, there wasn't any career, especially for Canadians or people living in Ontario like myself, to go to film school for anything other than like radio, television, film. And you'd be working at one of like the major broadcasters or maybe a film production company, maybe an indie company. But there was definitely no market for things like short films, um, which is what I wanted to make and or, you know, being more creative or more experimental. And to be a little biased, I found that YouTube was kind of the first platform that really took off and allowed people to share that in a very wide way and then also to monetize it. Uh, and, you know, going back to about 2008, 2009, uh, monetization for me allowed me to turn that into a full time job. So. Tell me a little bit about the moment, because you got into YouTube before YouTube was a thing, really. So, like, how did you find it, and what was the moment when you're like, I'm, I'm doing videos on YouTube, and that's what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> um, I, I joined the site really early because I was trying to send a video file to a friend over MSN Messenger, uh. and the <laughs> file kept failing, and so he was like, upload it somewhere. Um, and back then you could use like real player and it would like buffer or stream. Um, and so I decided to just upload it to YouTube to send to that friend. And he was my first view. And I like went to bed and I woke up and the video like had a couple hundred views. Um, just because I had like, I was very OCD. I like put in the title and the description, filled out the tags just because it took forever to upload and I was bored. And so it started getting views. And I mean, obviously I didn't think like, oh, I made it. Like being a YouTuber wasn't even a thing. Um, but I thought that was really cool and I, I hadn't previously thought about making videos for people that I didn't know So that's why I started making videos for them when I when I felt like I, I made it I, I think it would be I, I had this video featured in 2008 the Star Wars acapella John Williams is the man and when that got featured on YouTube's front page it, it felt like winning the lottery like the video in like a day got a couple million views and I I got hundreds of emails from agencies, marketing agencies, and um, the news, like all kinds of different news stations and, you know, uh, networks and whatever, and companies that wanted to license it and companies that wanted to sponsor me, all in like a day. Um, That's a lot for a day. Yeah, sorry. And, um, my days are like, get up. Well, it, I don't know. That, that's it. <laughs> Nothing my, happens. My life's not normally like that, but that, that's the one day that felt like winning the lottery. Um, and so I was going to my job where I was fixing computers and my phone kept ringing and it was like, oh, it's, it's, it's Microsoft. I got to take this call. And then you do this thing where you're like, I quit. She actually said, she's like, you should probably just go home and best of luck. Like, congratulations. Uh, don't come back. But in like the most friendly way possible. Uh, so Buffer Festival, which you started, has grown to be this monster. It's amazing. I was on the red carpet and there were literally hundreds of fans coming out to see YouTube stars, yeah. which is amazing. So just tell me a little bit about the festival and you know what it means to you and did you expect it to be this big? Yeah. Um, well, well, for us, we, we thought Buffer Festival felt obvious because I go to TIFF every year. Like I'm a, I'm a big lover of film um, and I love going to screenings and premieres and red carpets and even just movies. I love going to the cinema and sitting in a movie theater and watching stuff on the big screen. That's like the best experience. And as a filmmaker, that's how you want people to watch your movies, not on their phone or tablet. And so uh, we knew, me and my friends knew, and, and we felt like other YouTubers knew that we could get enough fans out to go to a screening. It's just nobody expected to, that YouTube content would work on, uh, on a big screen. And so- But it does. It, it, it actually does, because there's a lot of high quality content out there. And so year one, it felt like there was a lot of education. Uh, like a lot of YouTubers agreed to go, not totally sure what they were going to. The fans kind of bought tickets, not totally sure how it was going to feel. Um, and people loved it. And, uh, and uh, our second year, which was last year, uh, it was twice as big. Uh, we doubled it. We had like 40 screenings, hundreds of celebrities. We sold 10,000 tickets. And we're getting ready for 2015 now, and uh, it's it's just it's going to be bigger. Well, congratulations! You, you are like 
a pioneer of YouTube. And uh, best of luck with the festival and, and all of your endeavors. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Good luck. Thanks, Corey. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at WebFest in Toronto.